Hi everyone, in today's video, we will dive deeper into iframe and style HTML tags that were introduced in version 0.8.1. The update has already been pushed out to everyone, so you might need to relaunch Obsidian once. I know this isn't going chronologically in our series, however, a lot of people are interested in it and can't figure out how to do this. So I thought let's make this video first as the other videos I was doing need to as it is be changed. So let's get started. Wait, wait, wait. At the time of editing this video, Obsidian version 0.8.1 was released to public and version 0.8.2 has been released to insiders. I have managed to get the style feature banned from I think the next version they release. Although inline styles will still be allowed. So I will need to rework the examples and see how I can get it working again. It is important to note that I completely agree with the decision. I managed to completely screw up the application by copy pasting my old CSS file which had a small value for the body or div tag which managed to compress the interface to a width of just 320 pixels. So this video will only be for iframe for now. Suffice to say that the tutorial on style will be removed. Though I will still show some style examples because why not. So let's get started. The very first thing we will look at is iframe or inline frames. It is used to embed another web page or widget in your note in Obsidian. Let's take a look at an example. This note shows several examples. First, we have a sample tweet from our new Twitter account at Productivity Gur. Unfortunately, the you couldn't fit. I will show you how to embed this and the other examples that you can see on this note in a short while. The second example is a stock ticker. Then is our last YouTube video. Then comes the official Obsidian roadmap, which I'm pulling from Trello. Then this weather widget, which shows the weather and the forecast for the next seven days. Then we have this Google map embed. Then this Google calendar, which shows all upcoming holidays. Then to reflect on the times we are currently living in, we have this interesting widget, which tracks COVID-19 in real time. To get us out of this bleak data, we have a quote of the day. And finally, a combination of styles and iframes with which I have created this grid of some of our videos. First, let's start by understanding the syntax. Then I'll walk through how you can get these widgets into your own notes. A inline frame is marked up by putting iframe inside angle brackets. So we first put a less than sign, then iframe, and then close with a greater than sign. Next, we again put a less than sign, then slash, which in HTML denotes the end or closure of the syntax, then iframe, and finally the greater than sign. This is how iframe is marked up. Now it won't do anything as we haven't told it where to retrieve the web page or widget from or what should the size be, etc. So let's start by defining some attributes. The very first attribute and the most important one is the source attribute written as SRC. Then we put an equal to sign and inside quotation marks, we put the address of where we want to grab the file from. Similarly, we use height and width. Let's look at a few examples. Let's first look at how to embed a YouTube clip. Let me open the browser and let's embed a clip from this channel. I'll click on playlist, Obsidian basics, and here we will click on share and then embed. Then click copy and paste this code into Obsidian. That's it. It does all the work. Let's look at a few more examples. Next, we will embed a tweet. To do this, visit twitframe.com. The website will be given down in the description box below. Let's copy paste this code and let's change the link to one of the tweets from our new Twitter account. Let's take the show off your post and click on this icon and then select copy link to tweet. Now here in the SRC attribute, we will just paste in the new source and it should work. Let's use the iframe markup we were working on. Let's put the roadmap of Obsidian into this. Let's first open it inside the browser. This will help you import not only this, but any link from Trello. You can see these random numbers before the slash. That is what is important. We will copy this and paste it into the SRC and then just add .html in the end. As you can see, it's looking rather messed up over here. So let's add a few more attributes. Let's add width and make that 900, height as 600. Looks better, but I really don't want this frame. So we will add a new attribute called frame border and give it a size of zero.
Next, let's look at how to embed a map. To do that, go to this website in your browser. I will link it down along with the others in the description box below. Make sure you customize these settings as per your needs. Now where it says copy your iframe code, I will copy the code from iframe to iframe and paste it into obsidian and that will start working as well. Next, let's take a look at the COVID-19 tracker. Again, open the page given in the description box below in your browser, then scroll down and copy this code and paste it into obsidian. Next, we will look at getting random codes for the day. This works a little differently to iframe. Obsidian can actually render HTML natively. So first load this website into your browser, then select from these options and finally copy the code below and paste it into Obsidian. Now every day it will give you a new code for the day. Next, let's look at how you can get the weather widget. For this to work, you will either need to copy paste the generated code and load the HTML page into your web host like I have done, or you will need to use a service, which I will just show you in a short while. Load this website into your browser, select your location. I will add my city. Next, I can change these settings. There are more options available here, which you can customize. You can also choose these themes. Let me select the one I like. Finally, there are some more customizations which you can change. Now, after everything is done, I will click on get code. Now click copy to clipboard and then open your preferred editor. I will open Atom, add in HTML markup, which is done like this. Paste the code in between, save this and upload it into your web host. Alternatively, this entire code you can copy paste in this website here. You will need to create an account for it. It will generate a URL, which you will copy into SRC in iframe and you will be able to see this. Similarly, you can embed widgets such as stock ticker, etc. into Obsidian as well. I'll be linking them below in the description box below as well. If you would prefer a more visual approach to iframes, then you can visit this site here and generate code for iframe. Now I'm just re-editing this part. This was supposed to be a tutorial, but we'll just show off things I have achieved with the style tag. I'll be doing a tutorial later on this once I have figured out how I can achieve this with inline styles or external CSS. First, we will look at this day template, which I've shared across all social media platforms. You can see these tables in separate columns. Then this nice weather widget showing the weather of today as well as next three days. I've already shown you how to do that above. Then we have these brilliant animated buttons that take you to the previous and the next note. Then in the Untitled 3 example, you can see a working accordion. In Untitled 5, we have a rating system that I'm trying to get to work. Then we have these vertical tabs. Untitled 9 is this para index I was working on. And finally, these weather widgets that I was looking at integrating in daily notes. And that covers iframe and obsidian. You should now be able to make your notes a lot more dynamic. If you found this video helpful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I would love to know what are your thoughts about exclusion of style tag and what cool widgets or websites you are embedding with iframe. So please leave your comments and suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.